Okay guys, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you and meet me again here in the channel Terindah Suyadinat. And as I just say, good morning to everyone out there. And for today, we have class for English phonology. And for today's topic is on Wednesday, 22nd April 2020. You will have midterm test. And in midterm test, I just tell you the instruction in this video. That's why you need to be very carefully and give your focus always on fire in order to make you easy to get a better understanding because if you are not in a good concentration your questions will not be dealt with the, what I mean and of course you cannot answer if you cannot get a better understanding of my instructions as I wrote in the walls of Google Classroom you just focus on two charts. The first chart is English consonant chart. And I hope that you have already in your tables to prepare. And also the formal English chart also should be on your tables because your answer will be based on the two charts. And for this session, for this midterm test, you are not supposed to write all my single words, but you need to write the questions that I would give you later, and you need to write the question very carefully also, in order to make you be easy to understand the questions and also to answer the questions. Okay, don't lose the your understanding well actually uh, you have three questions for your midterm test today and uh, three questions first I need to say here and you need to give or to pay your attention very carefully the first question is Write your full name on a piece of paper and then number two, you pronounce or say every letter of your name based on the English consonant charts and vowels charts. Question number three, say E whether the letter is voice or voiceless so you have only three questions i repeat again to make you easy to understand the questions and then you can answer also easily because the answer are on based on the consonant charge and vowel charge okay, the first question is right your full name second pronounce or say every letter of your name based on the English consonant charts and verbal charts the, sec the third question say it whether the letter is voice or voiceless before you write that I will give you the examples in order to help you easy to understand and to answer the questions because your answer here must not not only be written in handwriting only but also you need to you need to take video for your pronunciations the pronunciation would be about your names only your full names only Okay, I gave you the example of my name. 
my full name is Su Ya D. So I have to describe my name become S U Y A D I. But that's about the alphabet. But we go to uh, phonological transcriptions. Phonological transcriptions. Trans transcription is based on the con English consonant chart and vowel chart. So uh, let it, let I explain about my name first. S. So you need to check the name of S in the place of articulation or in the consonant chart so in the place of articulation my name is s is in the alveolar it is a voice and in fricative also it is also in the voice sounds so s s is becoming s and then the second letter is u u you can, i you need to check in the vowels of english chart so u in the uh, on the tongue that it is in the position is in the back of the tongue u and the the the, the sounds must be high the high and back u that's become su and then we have y or in phonology y is pronounced as y so yeah, you can see in the consonant charts, uh, in the palatal, palatal voiceless, yeah, and also glide, still in the voiceless, so becoming su. And then we check again the name, the, the letter A, but here the pronunciation of my name su, ya, it's becoming R, okay, R here. You can check in the vowels of English, so in the mid and central, the pronounce is R, ah, it's becoming su, ya. Then remaining two more letters, okay, remaining two more letters, it is D and I. In the alphabet, it is sounds as D, D and I, but in phonological trans transcription, it should be D. You can check in the consonant chart the sound of D. The sound of D we have in alveolar. D. Alveolar and D is voiceless. D. D. And the stop also, meaning of articulation in the stop position. So it is D, voiceless. Okay, so yet, and remaining one more letter, it is. I in alphabet, but in phonological transcription is it is become E. So you just check E in the vowel of English chart. E, e we have in high and in the position of prawn front front tongue front tongue. So E. So my name is completely become Su Ya T. In general, I will tell you that S is alveolar, voiced, fricative, and consonant charge. And U in the vowel charts coming from high, back, and vowel charge. And U is palatal, voiceless, glide, and in consonant charge. And R in the vowel charge is mid, central, and vowel in vowel charge. And we can next, D. D is alveolar, first less, stop in consonant charge. And the last is E. The pronounce in phonolog phon phonological is E. High, front, and in the vowel charge. So that's the example of my names will help you to get the better understanding to do your assignments. I hope you can understand all and I hope that your semester test is going to be better than the first 
assignments I get to you. So have a nice time to do this and you need to write your answer in handwriting only. You may still look at your consonant charts and vowel charts in order to make you get the better understanding and also get score for your semester test. Okay, have a nice day. Be happy and be an English student better. Okay, guys, so uh, I hope you understand what I want you to do. And finally, I just want you to subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. But if you have already subscribed, please stay tuned in my channel forever because there are many knowledge you will keep, you will find you will watch in this video okay thank you for watching stay healthy and don't forget to breathe to continue your life see you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh